Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers here, another Marvel Legend. This is Thor, Goddess of Thunder. Um, is it Jane something, her name in the comics? I can't remember. Uh, I picked her up because she's fantasy, she looks really quite cool. And I've also got two more from this box set of five, and I'll show you show you those in a moment as well. Looks really cool. On the side, it, on the back it says, For she wills the mighty, and I can't even pronounce the hammer's name, Modulier, despite the toll it takes, battling the Asgards, uh, battling for Asgard's eternal glory as her human body breaks. A nice little poem there. She looks really, really quite cool. Um, I'm going to compare her with Bor, with Ulik, with uh, Mythic Legion, and some other couple of figures, and see how she scales. But being a woman, you'd, you'd hope, well, you'd imagine she'd scale quite small, but having that sort of size difference will make it far more dramatic and far more impactful. So let's open her up and have a look. There's a bit of tape on both sides. All right. Okay. Okay, she looks nice. The hammer is almost sort of see through blue, looks quite. Interesting, quite nice. Got quite a, is quite a bit of weight to that part compared to the rest. It really does want to drop down like that. Uh, she looks pretty cool. They've given her these sort of blue lightning eyes. Yeah, I'm not a fan of those. Could be better. The waist section looks like it's just painted. Looks a bit naff, to be honest. They could have sculpted that better. But the rest so far looks pretty good. I'm just wondering about her angle. Her angle. Uh, ankle articulation, but let's uh, get her out and see. How am I going to get her out like that? You know what? I might just make another little cut to make this a bit easier, I think. The other thing I'm sort of concerned about is this really nice cape she's got, is how that's going to affect her. Oh, the cape is not even attached. How is it going to affect her articulation when she's got it on? But since it comes off easily, not a problem. And I would be tempted to get or make a soft goods one anyway. Cape's pretty cool. You could ink that, dry brush that, you know, that would look quite nice. But again, it's going to be make her sort of heavy on the back. She looks bigger than I expected. Um, looks quite nice, has to be said. She has only got single elbow joint, not double. The knees are double, mind you. And the joints are really stiff. Uh, hair has got some give. Neck looks a bit long. If I show the waist section, you can see what I'm talking about. It's just painted like this. There's just flat. I prefer sculpted. And this sort of skirt section you could take off too. Uh, out the box, she stands up straight away. And she can get her arms quite flat, which is good. She's not stuck like she's got the world's biggest lats. Uh, if I put the cape on her, will she fall backwards? Of course she will. She's got to change her feet to more of a forwards angle now. More of a forwards angle, there you go, to keep on. Great for displaying, not really for posing with the cape. Okay, let's check out her articulation. So, head, she can look left and right, down and up's pretty good, side to side, it's pretty good too. Shoulders, she gets really high on the shoulders. I can't get that high. Not of my uh, back of my hands to the ceiling. Ugh. Oh, I'm close. Ugh. And she does have a bicep twist single elbow joint so she's going to struggle she gets yeah pretty upsetting of that to be honest so she gets almost 90 on the left and quite far off 90 on the right it's a shame trunk forwards backwards side to sides turn pretty good waist nothing 
hips. Oh, that is atrocious. Hardly anywhere. You'd have to shave down the uh, hip crutch on the crutch by the hip place there. Um, has a five turn forwards goes out slightly, but is all right. Backwards is going to doesn't really go far because of that sculpt, but makes a nice front kick. Double kneecap, and she gets a nice bend. There is no ankle twist that I can see. Am I wrong in this? I might be wrong. Can I just no, no ankle twist. She can sw swivel her feet to the outwards and to the inwards. And she gets a very good tippy toe amongst the best you'll see. And her dorsal flexation is really good too, her Michael Jackson. Very nice. Okay, and how does she hold her hammer? Fingers got a lot of give, quite rubbery. Only can hold it in the right hand. The left hand is a fist. Uh, wrist articulation didn't look at. She has wave articulation in both hands. The hammer's handle is quite thick, but with her hands, she'll grip it very easily. Just wish they give them a more bicep articulation. That's really quite sad. You have to shave down the bicep to get more from her. She does look pretty cool, but honestly, I'm a bit disappointed. The sculpting is, is nice, apart from that waist section, which is just flat and painted. Okay, so I need to pause this for an instant for you and about 30 seconds for me to grab another figure to compare it with. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. Let's compare it with the uh, two other figures that I have from the same set, first of all. So first we have Boar, who is a beast of a figure. He is amazing. One of the best looking Marvel Legend figures that's been made. I stand next to each other and... <laughs> He looks like a different scale. He looks like he's 112 and she's 118. He just towers above her. Next, Ulik from the same uh, box set. And these two guys are in the same review, which I'll stick to just the videos. And again, he towers above her. They both make her look tiny. But it's nice to have that dramatic difference in size. Okay, so let's move on. Let's look at another Marvel Legend that I just reviewed. This is the Hand Ninja. Now this looks more like a contemporary. He is slightly bigger, but they do scale well together. And he's a great figure. I do like him a lot. Okay, let's go to Wendigo, a bath who's going to tower above her, but makes for nice dramatic posing since they got such a huge difference in size. And I will say this is not forced perspective. They are standing next to each other, and that is the size difference. He is almost 50% taller than her. Okay, uh, I will choose, I think, let me see. One more figure, I'll use my Mythic Legion because he's also <laughs> really good. And also he's massive. He's in 112 scale and now I can see a huge difference. He literally is 50% bigger than her. He's bigger than Wendigo here. Whoever strikes first will be the winner. Oh! <laughs> Great looking figure. I think she looks really good. A um, little bit disappointed in the articulation, but end of the day, she wasn't that expensive picking her up here in China. Um, again, you'd be tempted to make a cloth, not a cloth, or a soft goods version of this. She's all right. But for fantasy figures, she's okay. Particularly if you're into like, your Mythic Legions, you can get another female fantasy figure. Uh, if you can find her, you can find her on eBay relatively cheap. In fact, I'll put a link in eBay. If I find her, I think I saw one the other day. I link an eBay for her in the description if you're interested in finding her. I think it was in eBay.com USA, but I could have been wrong. 
Okay, great looking figure. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. I am signing out saying please like, share and subscribe. And I'll be back soon in more Awesome Action Toy videos for you. Stay happy, keep collecting and check out the rest of my content because there's loads of videos and loads of different scales for you guys to see and enjoy. Okay, bye-bye.